Hey everyone, welcome to Como Live, brought to you by the Legacy Amendment. My name is Kelsey, and all this week on Como Live, we are celebrating Go Public Gardens Days. So we're highlighting our plant collections in the conservatory to hopefully inspire you to come out and visit us and see what we have to show you and what we had to offer. So on Monday, we showed you our bonsai collection. Today, I'm in the Palm Dome with all of our beautiful palms, but also I'm gonna talk about specifically one of the plants in here that gets a little bit overlooked sometimes. And those are the cycads. So the cycads, and I have one right behind me here, a King Sago cycad, they get overlooked because they're honestly, they're just not as tall as palms. And uh, they're a little bit different than palms too. So I'm gonna talk about that, but I'm also gonna talk a little bit about what makes these plants unique and why they're so endangered too. So a cycad, yes, they're completely different than a palm. A uh, palm is a angiosperm or a flowering plant. So palms have coconuts, right? Cycads are gymnosperms. So that means they do not have flowers. They reproduce with cones um, instead of flowers. So they have a woody stem, as you can see, and then evergreen type leaves on the top. The other really cool thing about cycads is they are some of the oldest plants in the world. Cycads have been around about 300 million years. So they've been around even longer than the dinosaurs. And an individual cycad can get to be pretty old too. They've been aged at about, like an individual plant has been aged about a thousand years old. So this one that we're looking at right now, and then there's one directly across from it too. Um, they're right at the entrance of the Palm Dome as you walk into the conservatory, and they have a super interesting story. The conservatory uh, was built and opened in 1915. These two cycads are part of the original conservatory. So they have been around um, since the conservatory was built, but even before that as well. They were actually part of the original banana walk that was here before the conservatory was built. And I actually just heard from one of our horticulture staff a pretty interesting story that one of them still has a metal piece attached to it that was used to move it in and out of the greenhouse uh, for the banana walk. So these plants have been here a long time. Uh, really, really super cool. I don't know if you can see it on there, but yeah, when you come visit us, you can check it out and see if you can find it. These aren't the only cycads that we have in the conservatory. We have a few other species too, so we'll take a little stroll and we'll see our palms, but we'll also see a couple other cycads I do want to talk a little bit about cycad conservation too. So let's take a little stroll here. So as I said uh, at the very beginning, cycads are endangered and they're actually one of the most endangered plants in the world. There's one right, right back there. I believe that's a queen sago cycad. There are a few species of cycads with only a hundred individuals left in the wild. And the reason this is, is because these plants are super valuable and they're actually part of a wildlife trafficking trade because people, uh, collectors, avid collectors, wealthy collectors really want these plants and they'll spend thousands to even millions of dollars getting these really, really rare cycads. Um, so it's almost like these plants are too valuable to survive. So obviously that poses a big threat to the cycads, but even one of the biggest issues is that 
cycads, they're very slow to grow, so they don't get to be very tall. Here's another one back here. They don't get to be very tall, as you can see here. And as I said, they reproduce with cones. What this means is that there's actually male and female plants. So you need a male cycad and a female cycad to produce more cycads. And for example, if all of the male cycads are destroyed or taken out of the wild, then unfortunately, that's, they can't reproduce. And then their whole species is, is destroyed. So that's a very big problem for these plants. And they, I mean, I think they're a really, really interesting species, as you can see. And you're probably wondering, well, you know, are people doing anything to help them or what can I do to help? There's about 180 different countries around the world that are dedicated to cycad conservation. And the really big issue is though, is that there's not a whole lot of protections for plants in the wildlife trafficking trade. While there are, you know, a lot of protections for animals, there's not so many for plants. But that doesn't mean that people aren't helping. There are organizations that are dedicated to educating people about cycad conservation and talking about, you know, these really interesting plants. And I think one of the biggest uh, concerns is, and one of the biggest things is, is that, you know, when we think about wildlife trafficking and we, we think about, you know, endangered species, you're not necessarily thinking about plants, right? I don't think about plants. That's not the first thing that comes to my mind. And I think a lot of it has to do with, it's, it's just difficult to, to relate to plant. We don't see them as individuals. A lot of times we see them more as a background as part of an ecosystem. Here's a really cool one. I like the dayun here. Kind of a, a different looking one. But thinking about plants, learning more about them, going outside in your backyard, even seeing plants out there, maybe finding a new species that you've never seen before and looking up a little bit of information about it or finding something really cool that resonates with you is a really easy way to help plants because once you learn more about them, then you can start caring more about them and understanding them a little bit better too. So you can even visit our conservatory here and see some of these really cool cycads, even though they're not as tall as our palms that we have. They're part of the understory, but they still are very interesting plant with a really cool story. So you can book a time on our website to come and visit us. We're open by reservation. Come and visit our beautiful conservatory, see the palms and all of the other plants and the cycads too. But I hope you learned a little bit about these plants today. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.